Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I'm your host, Anon Jr., uh, slightly early for a change. Imagine that. Uh, <clears throat> the, the temple clearing project has been finished. Arcadius is working on some other stuff over there, so I didn't want to start there and spoil what he was working on before it was done. This is the consolidated mess that I had going around this corner here. So at some point, um, it feels like something does need to be here. Not a hot mess of boxes. I, I guess that is the collective noun for what I had going. A hot mess of boxes. Um, <clears throat> some more decoration needs to happen in that corner there, in that corner there. Not not entirely sure what just yet, but uh, something will have to go in there. And I'm almost tempted to, to either knock out the middle pillar and leave those two, or knock out those two and just leave the middle pillar so I have a little more room to do stuff over here um, <clears throat> I I still need to uh, to do the cactus the larger cactus farm some pumpkin melon and kelp uh, and that kind of stuff over here I think I've got a decent idea of what I want to do on this side that's a little bit different than what I've been doing but uh, I'm not entirely I'm not entirely sure on that so I'm not not gonna get into that just yet but uh yeah these guys these guys are definitely going oh sure. hey, okay there we go stream just paused or maybe that's just me all right um these guys are definitely be part of it. Uh, I'm going to make a far more industrial melon pumpkin farm than I need for over here. But that's mostly so I can trade to those guys for uh, for emeralds. So I can trade the, to those guys for redstone. Because that is, uh, yeah, that's something that I definitely need a fair amount of. This project's kind of on hold while I figure out if I'm going to continue with this design anyway. Or, or if I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not entirely sure yet, but, uh... Sorry, still get a little bit of... Still get a little bit of sinus drainage and all that. Um... <clears throat> I, I'm trying to balance that, on the one hand, a lot of this doesn't need to be that big. This doesn't have to be the same size as community storage was in Season 1, because... This doesn't need to, or even what I had in uh, in Skyblock, because th this storage doesn't need to hold everything. It just needs to hold whatever I'm going to be farming in this area, um, yeah, you know, or whatever I'm going to dig up as, as I'm expanding out my mountain abode, um, and, and things that I want to have on hand. Like, I want to keep a little private stock supply of the Crimson and the Warped and, and, you know, a couple other things like that. So that way, as I go, as I go to build something like, you know, make another, another set of stairs because I just added the floor or whatever, I've got the, I've got the resources to do that. So the, because this is not a replacement for community storage. This is just my personal supplement. So this doesn't have to be that big. And, and I can't shake this feeling that I could make this work well enough. Uh, the problem I'm running into is this, is this is the clock that the original design called for with one minor modification. The, this little redstone dust instead of a solid block. Because uh, for whatever reason, that dust was not getting lit up like it was supposed to and, and I couldn't quite figure out figure out why so that fixed it for now and, and this will work in getting stuff from this dropper at least into the first chest and, and it ends up leaving one item over here uh, which is not ideal and it seems like in the comments people have mentioned that the bigger the bigger you make this design, the more stuff gets stuck in the back. And I really think if I could figure out a way to do this kind of a clock 
and power these in the order for the duration that they need to be powered like this. But set it up so that way there's a timer that run, or, you know, essentially a timer that, uh, oops. I, uh, okay, no. Uh, so instead of using the dropper, the dropper powers a pulse extender. So that way each item that goes through this dropper resets the timer on the pulse extender. And that pulse extender powers this clock running the rest of this and, and does it in a way that um, keeps running, running pulses through the system and whatever the time it takes to go from this input to the last, the very last chest in the line. So that way, no matter what's going on, no matter what's going in, this will continue sending off pulses until the very last item goes as far as it could have possibly gone. Uh, and that's going to require a figuring out how to get the right synchronization out of this with a pulse extender and then how how long a pulse extender I need. Uh, so I'm going to start filling some of these with items, you know, uh, I was originally going to put the warped in here and the crimson in there, but honestly, again, I don't like, I'm not going to need that many, that space for that many stems and especially not for those guys. So I'm going to rearrange this and maybe put the, the two nether lumber things in here and then, you know, two trees in there, two trees in there and start working my way across because I, I know I want to keep a, a private stock of lumber. Um, I, I definitely want to have some blackstone handy. Uh, I want to have some sandstone handy. Uh, keep some proteins and whatnot around. You know, uh, some nether stuff. Um, yeah, the, the things that I'm likely to dig up here or that I'm likely to want on demand. So that that's where that's where that's where this project's at. I am not in the headspace to be working on it, so this is not what I'm going to work on today. Uh, although it's something that I am going to have to spend some time on soon. And uh, <clears throat> and I might rearrange what I have in bulk storage too, because like, uh, well. As I dig this out, I'm probably going to run into more dirt patches, so maybe having bulk dirt is going to be appropriate. Same with gravel. Uh, the grass is one that I'm really... I don't I don't know if I'm going to need the bulk grass or not. Uh, that might have been a mistake. Although, I don't know. We'll see, because i got a couple of terraforming projects I'd like to do, too. Bulk sand? Yeah, I'm going to need that, because I, I, I definitely am going to need a fair amount of sand, because I'm going to get into some concrete stuff this season, and uh, and a few things along those lines. Cobble? Yeah, I, I need bulk cobble, mostly for redstone. Same for the stone, mostly for redstone. And, and these are items that uh, community storage is already almost tapped out on. So, uh, you know, we'll see. What I am going to work on is I'm going to fly over to the castle and I need to work on a, uh, a bedroom setup. Um, I have so much kelp scattered all over the place in the weirdest. I, I just, I don't, how, how do I have the stuff all over the place? Like half of that was scattered across eight boxes on the other side. I, I don't know. Th this is why this is why I need an organization system. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so I, I each of us has a personal room of the castle. Each of us is, has some of the other stuff. So I need to go. I need to go put something together over there. And I I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do in terms of design, except I'm not going to do it in deep slate. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in blackstone or not. So let me take the let me take the blackstone with me. Um, I will I need glass? I shouldn't need glass. 
Um, I'll take the wool and the dye. Uh, let's go ahead and toss these in here for now. Um, oh, yeah, and I also finally got figured out an arrangement that works well to keep all the workstations behind the wall because I like having this as a clean a clean wall. So I re rearranged a few things to get the anvil and the stone cutter there and, and my um, toolsmith bench and workbench and... Uh, I don't, I don't love the ender chest there, but I don't have a lot of other places to put it where it would fit, both in terms of the, the aesthetic and in terms of what I have room for on the other side. So, uh, but I still like having that there. Uh, alright, anyway. Sorry, distracted. Um, I... I don't know if I'm going to want sandstone or not, because I still haven't figured out what what I'm even going to make this out of, what what design it's going to look like. So so let's do this. Let's take a shulker box. Let's grab all the sandstone stuff I have. Let's grab the red sand, too, in case I decide to make something of that. Um, and let's grab a few stacks of sand. No idea what, if anything, that is going to come of that. Uh, but we'll see. Um, okay. I, I want to bring options. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <clears throat> I no oak. I just I don't like oak. I'll bring some dark oak. I'll bring some spruce. I I'm not doing jungle. I don't like gathering acacia, so I'm not going to use acacia. I might do something with the birch. Um, I'll take the coral with me. I'll take the. I'll take the nether stuff with me. Uh, let's grab those and those. Uh, no, I'm not doing anything with bricks this time. I'm not. I'm not feeling the brick. But the copper, though. Oh, the, the regular Prismarine? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Um, exactly 12. No more, no less. The counting shall be 12. Alright, you know what? Uh, no, I've done too much with copper right now. I'm, I'm not... I'm not doing copper. Um, no, I, we we got we got tons of stone over there, so I don't need to worry about bringing that. Um, smooth stone, snow, no, end stone, no, purple. <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Let, let me take all the let me take all the terracotta and concrete that I have handy. Oh, and a bed. We're, we're gonna have to design a fancy bed. Uh, all right. Let me go grab uh, another shulker box. I, I found that I've made more random shulker boxes than I realized. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, am I going to need the fancy stones? No, I'm not going to need the fancy stones. Let's just get all this random stuff in here. Let's, uh... Right. Storage. I love the store, by the by. I kind of hate that you see that one sticky piston in the glass, but I really like the, the glass window. So I, I like the glass window more than I dislike the, uh, the seeing the sticky piston. Uh, 
this. This is going to be another thing. I, I'm, I need to finish making this path, and I need to do it better. I, I had the idea of a rough stone path and, and using the, the tuft and cobble and stone and mossy and whatnot and all the slabs and stairs and varieties. Uh, but I do not like the way this is... I do not like the way this is going, Sam, I am. So... I need to figure out that. I also need to clear out the rest of that uh, powdered snow. I haven't died to it yet, but uh, it's been a near thing on a couple of occasions. But I want to bring... Oh, come on. I want to bring that path all the way down to, to at least the valley. I, I don't know where it'll go from there, but... Uh, I need to I need to get some cows and sheep and stuff and uh, having a path to work with would be nice. Having having a server. Why 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 are you like this? Why why are you like this? I know this is a question I ask Jeb all the time. Uh, oh. <sighs> oh! Oh, 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 no! 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 Uh, hi guys. Did Arcadius leave a bed over here? Some oh, what what am I complaining about? I just put two in a box. Uh, oh no, oh, somebody's sleeping through the night. Good, because I just about got murdered by two phantoms after I logged back in after losing the connection again. We have an aqua skelly. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was gonna grab uh, a bunch of bone blocks for to to for the for the castle. All right, I'll I'll pick those back up somewhere along the way. I'm pretty sure we got enough of them somewhere. Let me drop off these random two bones over here. Oh, hey, look, bone blocks, good. Uh, nope, this is not where I need to go. Uh, this temporary storage is finally getting moved into the proper storage that Medic has been working on off camera. On and off. And he has done an amazing job with what's going on in here. I mean, look at this. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. All right. Uh, there it is. I wonder if I could do do something with this too. Exactly twelve. Do it. Do I want to decorate in prismarine? No. <laughs> no, I do not want it. Hmm, maybe the dark prismarine. That's gonna get pricey. I'll have to think about that. But yeah, Medic's been working on getting the, the, the big stuff squared away first, like all the all the stone. All the stone. Like we we even got a backlog of stone. And same for a lot of the... Ooh, do we? Uh, oh, no. We only got, like, 13 red sand. Okay, never mind. I should probably bring some of my regular sand over here. I, I got more than I needed over over on the other side for concrete. Uh, oh, okay. I thought we had more of the fancy stuff that I might need to pillage, too. I definitely need to bring my dripstone over here. Okay. All right, all right. Let, let's, uh, sorry, distracted. Let's go bring Arcadius's, uh, 
is 12 Prismarini. Exactly. Exactly and precisely. I still need to get a uh, another portal over by the castle somewhere too. So that way uh, we, we got better better travel. <laughs> Maybe I'll just build it in my room. <laughs> My personal leather portal. Hey, we got a uh, prismarine slab path now too. Sweet. I gotta finish the crimson path, but that I need to finish the the foundation over there. One step at a time. So I keep telling myself, I need the piglin trading hall. That's the piglin. Hmm. Oh, and since this is below the base, we don't have to worry about extra critters in there. Nice. Nice. There you go. Looks like a uh, thunderstorm, by the way. Oh, and while I'm here, is there still a bunch of leather from where the the I need to, I need to, when I get a little more brain power, I need to do two things with this setup. I need to remove one, maybe two slices out of this four furnace so I can get this automated because, uh, it, yeah, th this doesn't automatically replenish yet. And I think in order to do the room that I, or to do the thing that I need to do, I'm going to have to. I, I'm going to have to nix one or two of these. But honestly, I, I've almost never seen that side open up unless somebody had put stuff there. And the zombie flesh overflowed to the point that uh, we, we started creating tons of leather over on this side. And, and uh, that seemed like an acceptable thing until I saw just how much leather was accumulating over here. So, um, yeah, about that. So I'm going to have to set up another one of these uh, fiery furnaces of overflowness uh, uh, next to the zombie flesh to let the let the zombie flesh overflow also get dispensed into the the, the fires of, uh, yeah. Although I did come here and pillage a fair amount of that to, to feed my trading habit, so... We, we got a little we got a little space again um hi oh that's right i am both not wearing gold and i opened up all the boxes so you're like doubly mad at me here i'll, I'll take the long way around <laughs> don't shoot and i still oh i still need to get uh seven of his friends and uh and get a proper a proper setup going Ah, uh, so many projects. Although that is a good thing. Oh, that's right. I had already started putting some bone blocks in here in a preliminary design that I did not like. That that was not that was not working the way I wanted it to. All right, I'll I'll set up my little my little assortment of shulkers over here. Let's get one of these beds out so I can... Oh, I thought it was a thunderstorm. Fine then. Let's 
uh, go ahead and make all the mess. So need I'm gonna need uh, a crafting table and a stone cutter. And I'm not sure what else just yet. But I'm sure I'll need something else, so let's get that down and that down. I don't need the potions or the ice. I don't think I got room to do anything with redstone. Oh. I'm gonna need light. Uh, might need some shrubbery. Okay. Alright. Let me first pull up these bone blocks because that ain't working. I, I don't know. I also haven't exactly decided. Everybody's got the, the same basic layout. So we got this larger area here. And we've got those two smaller rooms. And we've got that that wall that doesn't quite go all the way all the way up. So you know, we can make it a loft or we can bring these rooms all the way to the top or or you know, whatever. And I just gotta I gotta figure out what what I want to do because I definitely want to keep the the castle project moving oh and don't forget this is the void space between the ceiling and the wall so I could make this room a little bit smaller and make it a, a, a sort of a, a loft with the the bed up there But I don't, I don't think I quite have enough room for that. I did just see a lightning strike, did I not? I thought I saw a lightning strike. Oh yeah, and uh, next uh, next opportunity, please let me sleep through the night. Uh, the, the the phantoms and the lack of a roof. <laughs> the, those things do not mix. Yeah. Thank you. I knew you'd understand. Uh, blank canvas is a horrible thing. Because <laughs> honestly, if I put the if I if I put the floor just above that, actually, I might. That doesn't give a whole lot of room for a loft up there anyway. Um, Alright, first things first, I need a main, I need a main floor. Um, I mean, I wanted to do something with cyan terracotta, right? 
And I got the white concrete that I didn't end up using. So I, I got some cyan terracotta and white concrete that might be kind of nice to, to do something with, right? Give this a, a, a more modern feel. I mean, I could also throw some, some quartz in there. I'm going to need to farm some more quartz, though. Eh, nah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'll take some of the smooth quartz and the bricks. Actually, I might turn that into brick. I'll hang on to the chiseled, but I, d I don't expect to do much with it. Um... Yes, I am stalling by rearranging stuff in the box because I am not uh, kind of stuck. All right, I'm not kind of stuck. I'm a lot stuck. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. What if I do? Quartz pillar wainscoting. Although, how big do I want to just make it one block high or two? No, I'm not going to waste a, a quartz pillar there. Uh, It's not going to get seen when you do this part here. <laughs> Matter of fact, that means I need to do the same right there. pillars and more quartz blocks. Um, <laughs> I know an easy way to get some of both that will also handle... Hello, Beach Duck. No know a way to get some more of both that will handle a couple of problems all at once. Medic was complaining about uh, how overstuffed on stone we were. So let's do this. Let's grab a couple more rows. I kind of hate doing that, but I also know that we're going to end up with a lot more stone later anyway. So there we go. All right, let's grab that. And, and let's go talk to a villager about some stuff. I almost want to grab a, va a villager and put him in my room and name tag him Alfred. Am I wrong for that? I feel like I might be wrong for that. Hi, buddy. Seriously, the other guy got down to the last emerald there. Slacker. Oh, although that did take up uh, the entire inventory of stone that I brought. All right, let's hope that that's, uh, that's enough for the moment. Um, yikes. 
I mean, I could always go through some of the iron for uh, for more emeralds, but I don't want to. I don't want to go down that road just yet. Later, but not just yet. You know, somebody's already. Uh, Arcadius has already started working on his. But I'd go grab the dripstone and make this a legit man cave by making it a cave. Alright. Go look at the shower. I've got to move my uh my chat up or the the mini HUD somewhere somewhere different. Cause they, they keep overlapping each other. Making it hard to read, of course. If only there was a better way to communicate. Nobody's going to see you inside that corner anyway. Uh, I, I'm not overly fond of the idea of a pollen shower. That, that might be because my car is a, a much different shade of green with uh, the the natural pollen shower that's happening. <laughs> Although, what are you going with here? Terracotta? That's the white terracotta, the light gray and brown. It's not a bad color palette, though. Well, it almost feels like you should be using, like, uh... Um quartz brick to, to give you that, that shower tile kind of feel. Although, I mean, if it's looking like my shower, it needs to be mossy quartz brick, but we won't go there. Alright, uh, so, I'm not sure what's going to go in the floor here. Yeah, that's fair too. Um, <clears throat> I mean, do I just make a, a concrete floor? No, no, that's, no. I think I kind of like using the, the pillars as a wainscoting like that. With the vertical stripes. I need to put a transition between that and whatever's going up the rest of the wall. I also need to make sure that I leave room around the doors for whatever kind of frame is going in there too. Um, let's, you know what? Uh, I need that. My three emeralds. <laughs> I thought I had some stripped birch already. Yes. So I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to go with something like that. Let's go ahead and make the whole thing bright. Oh. Like stupidly bright. no good reason. Uh, bed, 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 bed. Which box did I put the beds in? that there until I'm ready to put it in its final final home wherever that might be Come 
yeah, the quartz and the strip birch is going to be kind of nice. Uh, and I do not want to go farming more birch. Uh, that, that's not the worst tree in the world to farm, but it's not the best either. <laughs> I could always do it in regular birch and go, uh, go 70 zebra striping. I wonder how long that would last. <laughs> <laughs> all right i don't mind that i i might end up flipping the bottom corners like that as well but we'll yeah, we'll see we'll see um all right question is, what do I do with the floor? Hmm. Do I do a, do I do a sandstone floor? Is that gonna, is that gonna fit in the, the, the color palette we got going right now? I still haven't done anything with the, the white concrete and I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Uh, or if it, en if it ends up getting used later at all. Um, because I, I definitely want to go with the brighter colors. I don't... I don't think the smooth texture is different enough from the top. Um, and, oh, and I need to figure out lighting, too. Unless I do... Unless I do it all in bottom slabs? Nah, I don't want to do it all in bottom slabs. Uh... Let's just start throwing some of this and maybe throw a little bit of... I... Yeah, you, you can't tell the, the smooth from the regular from the top, so... No no, no point in wasting the, the smooth sandstone there. Um, <clears throat> I thought there was a way to get the, the rougher texture up on the, up on the top just to get a little variety. Oh yeah, by doing... Upside down stairs. I don't know. Although I don't... This really feels like a room that needs to look a little more intentional than some of the random that I've been doing here lately. So let's get this in first. I'll probably end up putting down a carpet and then see what kind of designs I can throw in. Um, either with the carpet, uh, cause I need, I need, uh, I need some lights. I need lights on the floor or on the wall. And that doesn't seem to be a good, a good way to hide them in the wall right yet. Uh, well, I mean, I just got some, uh, some sea lanterns out of, out of that teardown project. This is going to take a little more sandstone than I thought. Well, okay then. Although, I don't... Mm. I did lights in the walls. How far apart would I need to make that happen to make this even viable? Uh, I guess for a variety, I could also do the... Uh, just throw some sand in there too. No. No. A good thing I grabbed a bunch of sandstone. And then the other question is, do I want to do the floors in there the same as the floor out here? I feel like I should. I feel like I should because th this is supposed to look like my suite of rooms. 
so I want to make sure that it has a unified feel. And maybe and maybe the flooring and the wainscoting are the two common elements that kind of tie it all together. I also need to figure out what the minimal redstone door I can fit in here is going to be. That's not two pressure plates and a door. Because uh, <laughs> I, fe I feel like I should have a redstone door. That's not too bad. Still kind of playing, but uh, uh, we, we, we can we can we can jazz it up before too long. Uh, I'm gonna need more. Uh, gonna need more sandstone and a lot more of the pillar. And the uh, oh, all right. Let's go ahead and just grab three more stacks of those. Um. Yeah, I need more than 10 pillars, so let's, uh, I'll turn that into pillar. I don't want to, but I will. And grab some of that. Because I'm sure this is going to take up a lot more than I want it to, but, eh, we'll make it work. It's not like we don't have two guys over there that are more than happy to trade for some, uh, for, for some more quartz pillars. Yeah, within reason. Oh. Probably going to want to do the birch around the other side of the door, too. Just drop that. Oh, nope. Wrong one. Wrong one. I say that in a panic like it's a problem. Like, is that kind of a problem? It's not. My, my brain is just not working at uh, full speed today. I know, I know. Some of you are about to go today <laughs> yeah yeah I'm feeling that part of this too all right so I need to figure out lighting or at least mob proofing oh and I meant to grab birch I would have put the birch there. And those are definitely going to go like that. These guys go all the way down to the floor. I will not turn those around like that. I kind of like the way that that goes in. I, mm, I might have to figure out another way to get a little more variety in it, though. Yeah. Fine. Eat. All right. I got to do something about that. One problem at a time. All right. That guy in that corner, that guy in that corner, that corner, and that corner. And I also got to decide if I want to set that up as a loft or not. I'm, I'm really thinking I do means I need to put a, a stair or a ladder or something going up. Beach Duck, feel, feel free to uh, chime in on uh, color options and whatnot. <laughs> you, you were able to help with the other part. Or at least give me, give me, give me somewhere to start. Some, something to, to contemplate or think about or trigger an idea or a thought or something. Because I, I know I don't want to do the, uh, I don't want to do the cyan terracotta all the way up. I might, I might want to get a, a, a pattern going. Um, 
just the question is what pattern? Time to sleep. the wall where I do all the white concrete. Oh, I'm going to need so much more than I got. Um, and use the quartz to make little patterns in the concrete. I mean, I could also jazz it up with some purple. Or do I mix in the, ooh, or do I do calcite and quartz, or calcite and concrete? Hmm. Alright, I don't need any more of the pillars. I'll grab some white concrete and some regular quartz. And some smooth quartz, because I got a funny feeling that I might actually, or and some brick. I got a funny feeling I'm gonna end up using a lot of the a lot of the smooth quartz. All right, let's get the sandstone out of the way. Also got the bone blocks too, but I, I'm already thinking that's not gonna that's gonna work not gonna work out too well. Hmm. The calcite doesn't really want to uh, doesn't want to blend in with too much. I do not want to, I don't want to go for the diorite. I'm not going for the diorite. Um, hmm. Or do I want to just do a simple wall and calcite? Do I have enough stacks of calcite to do a simple wall and calcite? Or is this where I go back to the drawing board and look for something completely different? Because uh, I, I want to stick with the brighter colors for this. Uh, too, many, too many of my builds lately have been darker. Um, so, no, you know, we, we can just go ahead and put the nether brick away because that, that's not going to, that's not today. Uh, let's hang on to that. Um... Uh, No, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang onto the black stone because I might do a pseudo carpet with the black stone in the floor too. So I'll, I'll keep that handy. Um, there's always something with spruce and dark oak, although I might be using just a smidge too much of that too. It, it is one of my go-to combinations when I need to get a couple of colors in there. Um. I'm not going to do sandstone walls, not with the floor already done. I'm not doing amethyst. <laughs> I am so not doing amethyst. I should probably also put the... Uh, put the quartz in a different spot. Put the quartz back with the, uh, the quartz here. I'm done with the pillars. I'm not using the chiseled. I'll keep the regular and smooth and brick. Um, I think I'm done with the cyan terracotta. Just, I don't know about the calcite. I could do something with the tuft or the smooth basalt. 
But now we're getting into the, the darker shades that I, I was kind of trying to stay away from. Um, I could do wool. Uh, I was uh, hanging on to this to see if maybe using some of the, the dead coral versions of those for to get a little gray in there might be nice, but uh, I'm not... I'm not doing anything with that. Let, let's just go ahead and pull that out of the out of the rotation of options. I can always put in some planks too. And I still got the problem of lighting. And getting up there. And figuring out what, what I'm going to put in any of these rooms. I mean, uh, I, I got a, I got my own little suite of rooms. Uh, other than, other than a bed. I, I mean, like, what am I going to do? Just chuck a little bed in the corner here and call it done. Um, no, uh, I'm going to build a nice double, double bed, four poster type deal up there. I know I'm going to hang some paintings. Get some armor stand stuff going I just uh, I don't know what, uh, what do I want to do for their up and I also don't know where the roof is so there is that aspect of it too so lighting roof Let's let's figure this out then. Let's pull this for just a minute. That's more than I want to do. And let's work on a stairway up to the loft. I'm going to want some smooth sandstone stairs. Maybe uh, some blackstone brick trim? Or do I want to do the blackstone stairs and the smooth sandstone for trim? Um, let's try the brick first. So, what? Uh, here? I'll light up under there in just a minute before I create a uh, Scar Lake mob farm. I didn't pull that back far enough. I need to go back two more, two more bricks. Yeah, two more bricks. And I need more smooth stairs. Never mind, because I was going to put a blackstone trim on it anyway. I'll figure out under there in a minute. I almost feel like that center stripe shouldn't be smooth sandstone after all. It should be something something different. Um, 
Do I do court stairs? Do I have quartz stairs? No, I don't have quartz stairs. Let's uh, let's see what I got. Let's see what I can work with here. Uh, sandstone stairs go back. I have no quartz stairs. Let's uh, let's make a smidgen of quartz stairs then. Like it, Sam. I am. Could I turn that around? And maybe instead of the Blackstone brick, do some of the raw. Raw blackstone stairs like what I got at the like at what I got at the castle. And then do the do the quartz's trim. That's a little better. Or would the stone actually work in place of the cyan terracotta? Or, you know, because the, the stone would at least be close enough to the cyan terracotta. No, nah, no, nah, let's do this. Because I don't, I don't want to make it the full, the full width. Um, although if I'm going to do this, I need, I need to fill in... Underneath there was something. Uh, do I just go like a so? Eh. Or do I have more pillar? And then whatever I do for the rest of the wall, work that up as well. I think I like that a little bit better. Now I, uh... Now I need a wall. Now I need a, uh... Oh, never mind. Let me, um... Uh, I got let me complete a thought. <laughs> I hope you're not expecting that to happen today.
that gonna be Is that gonna be enough room? Maybe. I'll figure out the transition in a minute. Um Actually that might be where the smooth sandstone ends up going. So that way I don't have any of the rough stuff showing. sink all this down one more layer and then just cover everything in glass. <laughs> oh, okay. No matter what, I definitely need to get some light in there before unfortunate things happen and some light in there before unfortunate things happen. So I need the rest of the wall and a roof and to figure out what to do about that side there. Or Sandstone again. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah. Let me go grab. Let me go grab some sandstone again. something around that corner out a little bit more maybe uh, unless I find some way to frame that better I like that I like that a lot better man and I stripped all that birch for nothing how often do you need strip birch again sure what I'm doing on this side yet but so I'll hold off on that um, or well, let 
me figure actually let me figure out the rest of the wall first and then I can figure out what if anything I need to do for that transition um hmm. hmm I mean I could just I could just sign terracotta up the wall but that's gonna that's gonna make it a little too a little too plain uh hmm. light colors what other light colors are there oh that's right i was wondering what happened if i took white concrete and then just started doing quartz designs on the wall let me get a little more concrete wall in first sleepy sleepy working out and oddly enough the the white concrete just looks a little dirty dull less bright I mean I could I could just do like I did with the chapel walls in season season one and uh, just start doing the random mix of bricks and smooth and normal quartz and just lean heavy on the brick. Which worked. And worked well. I just, uh... wanted to try something different. Spruce. Or dark oak. I still gotta do I still gotta figure out something about lighting too. Um hmm. 
<laughs> or do I just get bookshelves? Loads and loads of bookshelves and just make the wall one giant bookcase, you know, put put some oak plank pillars here and there. Like uh like what you find when you when you, when you go find the, the dungeons. Actually that's not bad. That's not a bad idea at all. Did I bring oak? No, of course I didn't bring oak. I don't like working with oak. Normally. Uh oh. Or do I do that with the dark oak? Will the will the dark oak and bookshelves work? I think the dark oak and bookshelves will work. Um Alright, I don't have any bookshelves at my base. Do do we have a Do we have a stockpile of bookshelves over here? I don't I don't pre yeah, I mean we do. But I'm not sure that I want to raid the stockpile of bookshelves. He says as he grabs a stack. I mean, it's not like we don't have villagers we can't buy a bunch from. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to make a few looms for some empty bookshelves. Uh, you are about to become string, so I can go make uh, make some looms. start going crazy with bookshelves. Oh, that's right. I need, uh... I need some looms for the empty bookshelves. Um... Yeah, let me, let me use up some of these spruce logs, because, uh... Spruce is easy enough to, to collect. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna need more than that. We'll see how far that gets me. Oh no, I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna want a pillar to separate the door from the next set of bookshelves. And maybe maybe some crosswise too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. I think I'm onto something. Like not losing bookshelves. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get away with uh, something. Oak's gonna just blend in way too well for that. All right. Ah, duck on. I so didn't want to work with oak, but ah, fine. Let me go get. Let me go get my oak box. I love how my creeper hole is uh, still not quite <laughs> grown, <laughs> grown back over. <laughs> I mean, the only time somebody spent any time there was me trying to get creeper heads. Well, that was... Okay. That's fine. Got a fair amount of oak anyway, so this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, yeah, that'll help the bookshelves blend in, blend in better. Let's 
So we'll divide this out into uh, the like quadrants or sections of shelves. Maybe put uh, maybe put little walkways to access the the books on the higher levels. Oh, that that actually works pretty good right there. Um, and I think what I'll do for there and the other side. Hang on, let me finish this ring around the room. I got a couple of oak stairs in there, right? No, of course not. That would be something that I actually needed. Oh, and I get it. All right. As soon, soon as I get the, the mental energy together, I need to get a... <laughs> There we go. Yeah? Yeah. As soon as I get the mental energy together, I need to go ahead and get, um... A sentence completed. Uh, no. The uh, stonecutter recipe going for, um... For all the logs. So that way, it, you, you can, uh... You can use the stone cutter to more efficiently get stairs and such. Cause I'm so tired of wasting lumber when there's a there's a more efficient tool available. I, I get like having the crafting table be the inefficient way and the cutter being the efficient way, and using that as a way to differentiate. You know which, which is which is which and really. Why do you hate me so, Minecraft? Okay. So that pillar is going to go up there. That pillar is going to go up there. Let's not have any thunderstorms here, shall we? Okay. Alright, I can get behind that. And then maybe we'll do... We'll do... Oh. Can't be wasting that. It's not like it grows on... Wait. Question is Question is who's gonna believe that I have that many empty bookshelves? <laughs> no one no one is But do I want to tear out this, uh, th th this, this, uh, terracotta? Or do I want to make the terracotta the, the beams? That's a thought. That's a thought. grab what remains of my cyan terracotta because I might be about to use a whole bunch more let's do this let's oh hey ah crikey I hate you things 
I can never get one of these guys when I want to. But when I don't want to. I feel like I should have that mounted up on the wall. Try, try to get like a, a plaque or something behind it. Like one of those hunting, you know, hunting plaques. Let's pull that back one. Let's finish filling in up here. Let's do the rest of this side with the cyan terracotta around it. And then the other side with the with the lumber. And see which we like better. Let's do that. Forget the oak logs after I just made all those planks. Um, I mean, that corner is going to be a little troublesome. Because there's no terracotta stairs. Moyang. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. somewhere to make this look like the world's largest reading room. All right, I, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need terracotta. I'm gonna need cyan. I'm gonna need so much cyan. I know there's terracotta over in storage, so I should be good on that. Um. Yeah tear out all that oak and uh and go from there good thing uh good thing i brought the dye huh let's grab some blue and some green mix up a batch of terracotta i still got another stack of cyan dye as well so there there is at least that uh all this purple terracotta that i'm not gonna make any use out of there we go um go. Then I'll just put that in there so I can start dyeing up the rest of the terracotta that I have that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to make any use of that. Uh, oh, that's right. I was going to leave that there. Okay, good. Definitely have to uh, have to figure out some furniture out of um, out of like dark oak and spruce and stuff. All right, and then I got to figure out what kind of space in there so I can subdivide it a little bit. 
wonder if I should put a, a small aquarium in one of these walls. I wonder if I have the room to put a small aquarium in one of these walls. <laughs> I mean, maybe I maybe I work with Arcadius. He's on the other side, right? Get 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 a uh, make make it a make a small small aquarium in between both of our walls, so that way it's set up where uh, where we both benefit out of it. I mean, I'm not sure that I like the idea of a window between the the <laughs> between the two rooms, you know, through the through the aquarium, but, you know. Alright, that's not too bad. I can work with this. Also means that can go there. Yeah, I got to do something else about that. I don't like. I don't like that. That's that's not working. I'm going to have to figure out how to work this transition. I think I might just do the smooth sandstone stairs and wrap those around the side. like that. I'm out of cyan terracotta again. Yeah. Cyan terracotta stairs would be really nice because that would help with that transition. <coughs> Mo Yang. <coughs> maybe, maybe I'll figure out a different architectural design for that. Alright. figure out that. I need to figure out that. Let me get the rest of that way around. Let's see what I got for... What other terracotta can I... Uh... Should I try for some cyan... Uh... Should I try for some cyan concrete? <laughs> no, because that that's not gonna that's not gonna quite mix it up right. All right, let's uh, get this side now. Terracotta supplies. Oh, oh, we we got two patrols. Oh, <laughs> those are big patrols too. Seriously, guys, why? I... No, nope, I don't even have my, my bucket of milk candy. Um... Let's 
Let's see if I can. Oh, 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 no. And there's one of you right there, too. Nope. <laughs> For serious bad. All right. Let's grab another stack of terracotta. Um, I thought we had more than that. Do we have more of that? Or is it in storage? It might be in storage. I sh oh, I should probably also move that sand and uh, gravel over to storage too. Um... I feel like I should make a, a crossbow and fireworks because that that at least makes sure that they don't uh, they don't uh, trigger a raid, right? All right, let me grab that. Let me grab that. Let's uh. You're just the one that I wanted separated from the group. <laughs> Stand in the fire, buddy. Stand in the fire. Alright, that's one patrol leader down. figure out what these patrolmen like to attack and go set it over a fake bridge over a bucket of lava. Alright, where's the other patrol? Where'd the other Doom Patrol go? Hi guys. That's... That's not terrifying at all. Nope. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just using your buddy as a human shield. Uh, stop shooting yourself. Stop shooting yourself. <laughs> Zero, two ginormous patrols done. Zero raids triggered. That's... <laughs> that, that's a lot of arrows. <laughs> that's a lot of arrows. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, that was special. Okay, that, uh, okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's add the crossbow to the collection we got going somewhere, right? Yeah, we got a nice collection of crossbows going here. Um, uh, I don't need that in my inventory anymore. Um, let's put the bucket of milk back in the backpack. Why do I have two buckets in there? Why am I pretty sure I don't want to know the answer to that? 
Oh, because one of those was supposed to be a bucket of water. Okay. Um, I'll figure out the space later. I did put that in there, right? Yeah, okay. Let's um, add another banner to the wall. <laughs> Let's see how far another stack of cyan gets us. side that needs to come out this way. Right? Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, there's no way this is going to make it all the way across. Alright. I'm happy or sad that that's way more than one block away. Alright, let's get those guys in there, and I'm done with the oak box. I'll just leave it over here anyway, just in case. Because weirder stuff has happened. I need more cyan terracotta, and then I'll start filling in the bookshelves. Just, I really thought that we had... Oh, almost. Okay. <laughs> I just thought we had more terracotta over here than this. I really thought we did. Alright, um... Let's take up some of the blue. that still only helps out here that doesn't tell me what I'm going to do in here unless I just go ahead and uh, follow the plan that I, I didn't think I wanted to do and because I can also decorate in here with um, um, paintings too yeah that might be what I end up doing in here. Okay. Um, that half stack of cyan didn't go very far. And I'm going to need to make some more green dye. I got plenty of blue dye left over. Checking the news storage here and see if there's a. Because I thought somebody told me that they, we had tons of terracotta. Ooh. This place is getting a little framey, too. Alright, guess not. 
or at least not yet. Where did it get moved over in one of these? Nope. Oh man, if he needed smooth stone, I need. I, all right, I'll go bring a bunch of smooth stone over. <laughs> like I, I got, I got half a chest full, man. You, you know, you know, you don't need to, you don't need to keep cooking that up. I got like half a chest. I'll get you squared away. Guess we do have a little more of the fancy stuff. All right. Oh uh, yeah, and a bunch of deep slate. Okay. Oh, cobbled deep slate. All right. Um. Hmm. Oh wait, no, that's right. Oh, there's all that terracotta out at the. It's in the storage over at. Ah, okay. Yeah. There was a complete sentence in there. I promise you. Leave some over here, by the way. Oh, I left some over here. Oh yeah. And I, oh, there's. Oh, there's a bunch of my quartz too. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, let me. Uh. You know what? Let, let, let's. Uh. Let's just grab. Yeah. A steal from one project for another. <laughs> and the time honored tradition of crafters everywhere. And let's also make sure that we get rid of the colors I don't want, like that blue. That blue is not. I ain't got no. Uh, I don't want that light blue either. That black ain't working. Can I not mix that many colors? I guess I can't mix that many colors. All right. Weird. Well, okay then. But I just... Okay, fine. Fine. Whatever. This is fine. Alright, let's see how far this gets me first. He says, again. Right, I need to start filling that in. Uh, I'll put that there for the moment. I, I don't... I don't like it, but I'll uh, I'll fill that in for the moment. I might I might just take uh, three quartz blocks and fill those in with those, or even pillars, and just bring the pillars up to the stairs. Let's get that squared away. We gotta figure something else out on the wall, and I gotta get something to give that a little bit more, I don't know, shape. Round off that corner a little bit, or I could go back to the original bit and have, uh, have that... Have a three-wide strip birch door? Now yeah, I'll think about it. stack. Okay. 
Well, I, I only meant to do one more stack, but okay. Oh, that's right, because I'm going to need more anyway for uh, for upstairs. As soon as I get that figured out. I'll leave that torch there. That should keep that area inside the, the wall lit. So I don't have to worry about critters in the walls. I feel like I should put a barrel in a in a armor stand skeleton underneath the stairs here. Yeah, like, like a little cask of amontillado and a, and a skeleton up against the wall. <laughs> okay. Maybe I do spend too much time being self-amusing. Alright, let's put all that in there for now. Uh, somewhere around here is a place that I know, uh, you know, I'll put the, I'll put those in there for the moment. Let's get some bookshelves going. I'm probably about to spend a lot of extra time trading with uh, the Yahoos. break that up. Uh, where? Where is my brain? Hmm. All right. So how, how wide is this? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so what if we went uh, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. And 3. No. It, it, no. No, no, no. Uh, Alright, so we go three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And two. Okay, we can make that work. I 
gives us one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, I definitely need to put a couple more empties in here, though. Just something to break it up visually. So far, so good. Shows. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, uh... How are you doing? Let's get some irony. For sale. You I, I, do not I, I, have bookshelves for sale. You yeah. are. You're expensive. You, uh. Oh. You guys might end up with a close encounter with a zombie before too long. I mean, it'd be a shame if you guys ended up with a close encounter with a zombie before too long. <laughs> yes, yes, that is totally what I meant. Not, not that you will. I just that it would be a shame if you did. Cause that. Hmm. Hmm. There, there might be a lot more uh, off-camera trading with those guys. After, after a zombie unfortunately makes his way into their quarters and, and just tragedy, oh. tragedy of tragedies. the shame. That didn't even that didn't even fill in a full section. All right. Oh, and I didn't want those two guys uh, right next to each other either. I thought I I thought I'd space those out a little bit better than that. Okay. Shells, or do I want to go ahead and make them? Because I got all those oak planks I'm not doing anything with now. Uh, we've got a sugarcane farm. We've got all that leather left over from uh, 
from, from the the unfortunate overflow of zombie flesh. Uh, oh, nope, didn't make it. Matter of fact, I know I brought a whole bunch of that over here too. Like, I brought a whole bunch of that over here. grab that oak before I forget about it again. Oh. Let's go make some bookshelves. on this too and get this AFK section a little bit bigger uh, and a proper a proper landing platform right no um there we go and let me go back and start dipping into the spruce box. At least the spruce is easy to grow a bunch of in a hurry. As I go to and fro, stop and go. That's what makes the elytra run down. Guess I'm going through a bunch of spruce. Oh. Okay. Well, only oh, I need uh I need more um more looms anyway. Be worried that you're uh, making rocket noises awfully close by. I still haven't figured out what I'm doing up on up on this side here too. Uh, I mean, do I want to do? I feel like I should do some more quartz quartz wainscoting. Um, Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's grab quartz pillars. Because I'm pretty sure I want to keep the same basic theme. So this is going to go... Start trading with those guys to get more quartz. Oh, torches. I need more. I need a couple more torches anyway. Uh, so that I can fill in those corners with something. the question is, is how do I nail this transition between the two uh, do do I lock those there there. Bring the staircase out one more so that I can go take Sandstone. At least that far. <coughs> going to see in there, but I want to fill in the spot so I don't have to worry about it. And then grab my smooth sandstone. For that part there. Should have two smooth sandstone stairs already, but just in case I can that I can make more of easily enough. We'll go one, two. And then I can start working this back. That's going to go there. Those guys will go there. <coughs> I 
Why does that one guy have to drop right where I can't, you know, make good use of him? I don't like that any better. All right, I'll figure that part out a little bit later. All right, and that goes around like that. It's coming together. Ish. Adjacent. Should grab some proper scaffolding too, but you know, the lazy is real right now. it would take to fill a bookshelf like this. Like, what kind of a book hoarder has a collection like this? Don't answer that. I like it. And maybe... Maybe I do need to pull these out and then do uh, like planks or something in the middle in the middle section. Because as much as I as much as I like having that recess just a little bit, uh, well, no, that's that's still a little too flat. That's I don't know. All right, all right, all right. let's uh, let's get this done first. again. I think I'm going to have to run out of bookshelves again. Of course, I still need to put some furnishings and stuff. Like, I, I definitely, this calls for, for some sort of, um, what does this call for? I should put a bunch of bookshelves in a bathroom. 
Somehow that seems about right. I also need to get the bed in there, figure out what I'm going to do with the walls uh, up here. Although, honestly, I, I, I think I'll just put the terracotta in up here, leave the bookshelves out for the main the main bit there, and um, and then put paintings up on uh, up on the loft. I'll still need to figure out what to put in there and what to put in there. I might make a couple of mini workrooms just because. That seems about right. Have a couple of have a couple of work private private artificer workroom <laughs> type deals. <laughs> Did I make too many looms? I might have. Although we'll see. Some of these areas look like they might need another uh, another empty just to break it up a little bit. Like that could definitely use another. Just to break it up a little bit more. I might even go back in and maybe strip out a 3x3 three three and put a, a backlit painting in there or something like that just to, just to give it a little more a little more variety or do some uh, armor stand shenanigans. Let's uh, get the wall finished. I still gotta work out the lighting too. Uh, and I want to get I want to get some ladders so that way it's got a um, it's got a like rolling rolling ladder feel to it. I don't know how I'm gonna pull that one off. Um, Or do I put a little walkway around the edge there that kind of ties in with this? Well, it feels like I might need to push that back one. Or switch that row out for nothing but stairs. Just, I don't know, something about that transition doesn't... It's not, it's not quite sitting right. Right, let me finish out the bookshelves first. giant aquarium in the middle though. Or fireplace. Get like an open fireplace with uh, four couches around it. Couple of, couple of end tables for reading, you know, reading materials. good but it feels flat but I'm not 
sure what to do to uh, fix that part of it. That is progress, though. Yeah? Not bad. Alright, where's my uh, portable portable workshop? Because I'm pretty sure that's going to need... Yeah, sure. We can put bookshelves in there. Why not? Cyan terracotta in there for now. I still need I still need lighting. I, I need to throw a little something around the edge there. I just I don't know what. Because that's a whole lot of that's a whole lot of sadness right there. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, because if I I might I said I was going to put a carpet down anyway, right? So if I'm going to put down a carpet anyway, I got some glowstone, right? And we can go. That's the center, right? That uh, one, two. Yeah. Is that really all I need except for those corners? That's not happy, but that, that's not bad either. Uh, oh, stupid. I always get very worried when you do stuff like that. I mean, that's not bright, but uh, we, we can work with that. So we'll throw that under a carpet. That means this bottom area here is spawn proof. I got that torch in there for now, and I'll figure I'll figure that one out in just a second. Um, I'm gonna do the same over on this side. Figure out, figure out a carpet, carpet setup to cover that. What about up here? Yeah, I kind of figured this place was going to be one, two, three. Bam. Actually takes care of lighting up under there a little bit as well. well. Coupled with what's up on top of the walls, that gets us up there anyway. Uh, let's go ahead. Something's going to be there anyway, and that that keeps us covered for the moment. That that means that I am not contributing to any spawn issues. In there, at least, uh, that even covers out here. Yeah, those, those corners, uh, those corners are kind of tough, but I'll figure that out later. All right, let's get those away and those away. These and those and dums and does. All right, 
That's progress of a sort. Uh, what color do I want my carpet? I'm I'm tempted to do cyan, but that cyan isn't gonna match. Let's go with uh, let's go with the light gray, maybe. I mean, there's a part of me that actually wants to go get a dragon head and some black carpet and <laughs> it, it, it make it look like I got a giant uh, dragon skin rug. <laughs> wither skeleton carpet <laughs> but with no that because that doesn't make any sense that, that, no no that, that that doesn't make any sense <laughs> i get some blue and make a wandering trader carpet that oh, no that's dark that's uh, dark Hi, how are you doing? You guys got no business. You know why? Because y'all too expensive. Alright, let's make way more carpet than we need. We'll put in the we'll put in the fancy black carpet. Uh, is there another thunderstorm in the... Yeah. Or rain, at least. And is that snow, or is that white carpet? Okay, that's white carpet. <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> why, why do we have random snow layers there? <laughs> That's right, because they didn't do it with carpet. They did it with uh, wool blocks. So you do something like... Uh so that also means that for texture I can... I'm getting the proportions way wrong. That's... That's not how dragons work. Although, honestly... Just doing that would be enough anyway. I mean, you get the point.
No, I'll figure something out in there. Um, and I actually like that the black will blend in with the black stone and give it a, a reason for a reason for being, or something like that. I kind of struggle with that aspect of designing anything. Um, Now. No. I'll think about that. Of course, I still got to figure out the where the bed and all that's going up here anyway. Uh, oh, that's right. I needed more of the cyan terracotta to fill in that wall anyway. Um, I hope that's enough cyan. when the ominous narrator voice cues in and says it was not enough. something I can start putting I got room to put paintings up on these walls or maybe put something recessed in a little bit more I, I I like the design that that's shaping up but it definitely needs something to give it a little more depth I'm just I'm not sure what unless I want to put um, do I do I have ladders somewhere I feel like I have some ladders somewhere. Um, this is my toolbox. Unless I want to like do um, ladders and then find a And then find a, a walkway under the shelf to give it that little extra something. And... oh wait, no. Uh, Reyes said we had a bunch of ladders down here still, right? I think. If I were asked. Thank you. I. Oh, for some reason I thought we had. I thought we had a bunch of ladders. Alright, we're about to. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the letters definitely help give it a little more, a little more something. Um, not that many letters. Oh, come on, come on. I just need to, I need the right number of letters. How is this that hard? And then what? Maybe, maybe along the, the, this side here? This isn't this isn't even enough to put a to put a, a two beds side by side and make have it make sense. figure something out with that a little bit later that at least gets the beds up there all right something something to make that fit better Where, where's uh all right maybe now is where we start adding in uh some of the dark oak although i could i could do birch a birch walkway would fit in with the lighter colors maybe Like, what if... makes the those shelves seem slightly more accessible I mean that's not a big that's not a big walkway but uh I'm just worried that that's too much birch and maybe I should go with like a dark oak or something just to add a, a little bit of a different a different color to it all right I'm gonna need more stairs I could even bring that in a little bit more and use uh, slabs for some of the some of the longer ones too. All right, I need two, three, four, five, six, seven more stairs. Of 
first. Now we're back to those platforms need to be lit up. How do I want to light those? I could add some soul lanterns. No, candles. Of course candles. How could we not have some candles in this? doesn't want some candles near their bookshelves. Oop. is going to be six wide, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go to there. I was waiting for that. All right. Uh, and then, ah! All right. I guess I will go get the Zippo. Fine. Fine. My eternal flint and steel. I feel like I need to add a safety railing. Oh. Gives it a little more depth. Hmm. A little more depth, a little more light. Although if I'm going to do that, should I bring the bookshelves down to the wainscoting or should I keep the trim like that? Does help with the uh, that does help with the light. Did I not have more black carpet somewhere? No, I used all the black carpet. Because uh, I almost want to round this out just a little bit more, but that's fine. Sorry, I, I'm about to do something very silly just because I feel like doing something very silly. Uh, forgive me this moment. Let me uh, get a couple things put away though. I think the candles can go back. The flint and steel can go back. Ha <laughs> ha 
I don't know. Should I leave it? I'm feeling like I should leave it. <laughs> I, I I do feel like I need to I need to widen this out just a smidge because I'm I'm pretty sure dragon gives you more carpet than that. There's a question to ask your GM. How much, uh, how much carpet do we get out of the dragon? Just, Making it a little bit wider, or making the tail connect to the uh, <laughs> connect to the the stairs. Because he was looking a little small earlier. All right, that that's that's progress. Still gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for a proper bed up here. I don't like the checkered carpet, so I'm gonna have to do. I'll, I'll have to do something different with that. Um, maybe, maybe I'll ex I'll run the black carpet up and then run some white carpet from there in a border. But I still gotta. I still gotta put the bed down. All right, and or do I just do a single wide instead of a double wide? Because the, the center of this room. The center of this room doesn't... It is one block wide, not two. So that means I'm not really going to get um, more than that. And also I've got that light there. Although I can always move the light. Or do I put a third bed and make this like a, a California king sized? <laughs> I mean, this is supposed to be a castle and extravagant and, and et cetera, et cetera, right? So, uh,. What about we just uh, make this a big old California King? Probably not going to be enough, is it?
Nope. I also kind of wish you could put carpet on top of uh, carpet on top of stairs and have it follow the contour of the stairs. But I, I guess that's asking for too much. Some sort of wall needs to be there. Do I do... Do I do sandstone? Or... Or fence? Um... No, there's no smooth stands. Smooth sand stone wall. Or do I do a quartz wall? Oh, yeah, no. I I actually want to have a practical bed. Unless you're going to hide it under the carpet, but then I don't think you can reach it. It's only because uh, I haven't quite cleared out the side of the mountain yet. Are those snow layers? Dude, my room's cold enough without adding snow. <laughs> snow layers. Listen to me, wasting snow layers. <laughs> oh no, it's not like we don't have a, uh, a, a golem willing to give us all the... <laughs> all the snow we could ever possibly need. I mean, look, if we want to make this true to life, i got to leave enough space under that bed for, for Jabba to crawl under anyway. Go tame a wolf and leave it under the bed. Oh, 
although putting Jeva in the same category as a tame wolf is uh that, that might be a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Uh, no, that, that that's just that's just a little too much realism there, good sir. And Jubba listens, ish, mostly adjacent. He he hears when when his dinner bowl is being picked up. He he hears when when you you ask him if he wants to go somewhere. Uh. Oh, that's right. I was going to get some dark oak. And some barrels. And I need a clock, a lightning rod, and a bell. Didn't make it. All right, that's the lightning rod. I think I got a clock somewhere in, uh, Hop on over here. I'm sure one of these guys has got a bell, right? Do you have a bell? You do. But you didn't sell me enough to... Alright. How many of you guys do I need to trade with to get enough for a bell? <laughs> for the tree. Then do I want to put the clock up here? No, that's too much like real life staring at a clock. Um, I need to start figuring out decorations and what I'm going to do about that. I do not like that, Sam. I am. Unless I go swap that out for the smooth because the smooth and, and then do smooth for the wall. That, that'll at least blend in with each other a little bit better. But first, I should probably put a crafting bench in there somewhere, too. Oh. And an ender chest in there somewhere, too. Maybe we'll, uh, start a little portable workshop there. Um...
I got an item frame and a clock around here somewhere. I think that's in my uh, ooh. toolbox has the clock. Probably gonna make some more of those. Um, portable workshop has the item frame. And then the other question is, is, do I want the item frame visible or invisible? Or do I want to make one of those glowing item frames? Still need to start working on some of the other decorations around here. But I know I know, I wanted to have a big old grandfather clock in here somewhere. Um. Oh. I uh, probably shouldn't show you guys this, but... Uh, I know something else I want to do. Where's my uh, portable workshop? I'll get an anvil to put over there. Uh, let's you know. Let's just leave that placeholder there and. Uh, here's the fun thing about using trapdoors for a lot of hiding stuff. You can do things like that. Perfectly normal grandfather clock. Somewhat secret compartment. Huh? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I need uh, one more... One more trap door right there. There we go. That gives it that full round, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, I need some end tables. I need some couches. I need, yeah. Try a couch like that instead of with the bed. I mean, I could make it one more wider on either side, and that would still fit in the center. And I could do it with the beds, and then I still got the the cushions. But but why not? All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That's where the random extra terracotta came from. Okay. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, what color couch do I want to put in here? Because I got the full range of 18 colors. I want to do orange. I've already done red. Uh, should I make it black or gray? No, I want something lighter. What's lighter that would fit? Do I want to just do it out of white? Or yellow? No, the yellow is going to be a bit too much. Light gray? Or blue? Because if I do, if I do the light blue, that helps bring out a little bit more of the blue and the. Or, let's try regular blue. Um, not like I can't dye it later. Fix. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh, I don't mind the blue. I don't mind the blue at all. Alright. Uh, what other furniture do I want in here? Uh, I need a couple of end tables. I hate that that's not perfectly centered. So I might, I might have to move that to a different location where it can be centered. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, it's definitely got to be centered. bed sleeping on the same side anyway all right uh yeah let's put let's put the let's put that here father clock back together that is that is at least centered on that bookshelf which I appreciate much much better do we get a couch we got a grandfather clock do I do I put another couch on this side maybe yeah I have a couple of a pair of reading couches Yeah, why not? Alright. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six of those guys. So I'm going to need uh, a few more. That works.
blue beds. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to have to move all those, uh, <laughs> all the, all those shulkers in here because this is, the, the back and forth is, is getting to me. Uh, That's a little bit better. My private library. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta do something in here. This is that. That's not working. That's not working either. Um. What can I do to round that out? I'll have to think on that. Alright, so I still got a little more decoration, a little more furniture type stuff to do. Some armor stands and book stands and end tables and that kind of thing. Uh, don't I have some dark oak uh, trap doors in here? Because that... I think that one worked out pretty well if I did something like, uh, and then went, I need two more. Do some armor stand magic to put stuff on there. Um, yeah, it needs something else. Do I put some? Do I put some uh, shrubbery in the corner here? I might put some shrubbery in the corner there. Go get some of the azaleas or something. Uh, ooh, don't I have the... No, no. Uh, bother. Okay. That's back at the base. Alright, I'll start thinking about decoration. Uh, and, and one of these I'll definitely have to make into a work room of some sort. Uh, I gotta cover that floor, though. I, I don't... I don't like that. Uh... Ooh, what could I put under there? Actually, let me go grab some, uh, let me go get, um, uh, yeah. And, uh, slavage that up. I might do that on the interior of both of those. Um, yep. Gonna have to go harvest more birch. So, do I have more stairs? I 
got some. We'll need to make a few more. Uh, let's... Hmm. I'd like to put the sea lantern in there, but I don't think the colors are going to work. Shroom lights are almost always a good idea. I, I could I could do the, the glowstone, but that, that texture is just not quite right. Sea lantern and birch. Now. That also helps with the light. Yeah, let me, let me, um... Let's go ahead and get another couple of stairs. Let's go grab two more shroom lights and do the same to the other side as well. Starting to run a little low on those shroom lights. Although I'll probably pick up more than a few when I go to when I go to make the uh, um oh all right one two one two yeah when I go to uh, re replenish my crimson and warped lumber stock because I'm a little short on both of those. Alright, so that gets me two small rooms to work with in there. One of them is definitely going to have to be some sort of workroom, but, uh... What other workstations do I want to put in there? Because then I can could, I could start putting them off on the edges. Uh... I'll, I'll figure that out. I think I'm starting to run, run towards the, the end of my, uh... The end of my steam. Um... I should probably have a couple more barrels or storage or something over here anyway, though. For no good reason, but, uh... Build a, build a workbench table of some sort. Hmm. Where, where's my, uh, where's my spruce? A as I say, oh yeah, time, time to, time to wrap it up, time to wrap it up. Oh wait, where's, uh, where's... <clears throat> I mean, I never do stuff like that much, often. That that's like every every uh every cheap workbench. Now, if I'm gonna do that, I need to go ahead and bring it all the way around and I need something in that corner and that corner to support it better uh more barrels no no more barrels let's go grab do I have spruce stairs I do not have spruce stairs but I can with quickness do I want to? Oh, do I want to do stairs, or do I want to do the the thing with the trap doors? No, I definitely want to do stairs. So we'll do that like so. That like so. Let's. Uh, you know what? Not 
then I'll figure out what goes under there later. This gives me a nice little workspace, and I can start moving a, a few other things around in here as well. Uh, what else would I want on my little private abode? Let's put a few things away just uh, just to clear up the inventory a bit. I'll have to figure out more decorations later. Th this at least keeps the lighting taken care of. It, it adds a little bit more something to it. I got to do something up here and up here. And I'm not in love with that carpet either. Um, I'll figure that out later. Uh, I like the idea. I don't like the execution. Um, hmm. <laughs> or do I get a sheep head and make it like a, a sheep skin? Yeah, something, something's got to go up there. Something's going to have to go in there. Um... Ooh, that should definitely be like a, a wardrobe of some sort. Like a giant walk-in closet wardrobe. Although I'll have to put a door there. And some doors there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That, that, that's it. All right, all right. This is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun before I descend into just uh, incoherent grunts and, uh, hmm, sound like the old, the the, the actual vanilla villager sounds. 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern every Tuesday is definitely Coffee Craft. 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Fridays is something. Here lately it's been Coffee Craft. I've got a couple other things that I want to, I got some stuff I want to bring back, some other stuff I want to start. We'll, uh, we'll, you know, we'll see. There's a lot going on. Let's go, let's go give Beast Lord a raid. He's playing Babylon in fall. If you're not following him, you really should. And, uh, and so let's go say hello, and I'll catch you next time. Stay for the raid. <laughs>